when in the MCU timeline Moon Knight takes place. Is it the most recent project? Is it sandwiched in between other projects in the timeline? Mohammed, hello. It's so great to talk to you, my friend. Uh, it, it is a real honor. I loved what I've seen so far of the show. I'm a huge Marvel and comic book fan. And uh, I just want to say before we start, congratulations. The show is awesome. Hector, that means a lot to me from a real fan. So thank you. Thank you. I was scared, Hector. I couldn't sleep, so thank you. No, you guys nailed it. You guys nailed it. <laughs> we'll I told my kids in the in school, please don't give your address. Don't tell until the show is out. Don't give our that's, address. That's safe. That's safe. I mean, I think you would be safe. Still, don't give it out. But I think the people are going <laughs> to like the show. But still, don't give it out. My first question is very, very nerdy. If you could indulge me, would you be able to, as executive producer, director of uh, many of the episodes, be able to tell us when in the MCU timeline Moon Knight takes place? Is it the most recent project? Is it sandwiched in between other projects in the timeline? Do you not want to spoil anything? I, I want to tell you that one of the best things about this this show was it's it, it feels like a standalone project. It does. By the way, that wasn't the case in the beginning. The, the case in the beginning was it, there was some crossovers, small, small Marvel uh, stuff. But yeah. as it progressed, as we saw the cuts as we, we we finished the show and felt, you know what? That doesn't need anything else. Let's even cut every any 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 Easter eggs or anything. You know what? This stands on its own. So I actually don't know, and I don't. I actually <laughs> want you. I want you. We had a set date, but just so you know, before the show, because the Marvel world is so complex, mm -hmm. we had a date. We had a year, but I'm not gonna say just because it doesn't matter anymore. Right. I, I'm sure that 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 the fans will decide for themselves. They'll figure yes. it out. So maybe at some point in the future maybe they would appreciate some kind of confirmation. But until then, let us hunt the Easter eggs. We will figure it out, Mohammed. Thank you. Okay, I'm, great. I'm sure, but uh, as I told you, and I love that. I love that relationship with the fans who actually enjoy some mystery. I like. Yeah. I think so. But um, as I told you, enjoy it. I'm so proud that we didn't need crutches. Yes. We stood on our own, and I think people already are drawn to the show by itself, which is an honor. I have been talking to so many people who have worked on various Marvel projects, and I've learned that even sometimes the star of the movie or the star of the show isn't informed about the potential future plans for their character, but some of the directors are there. So I wanted to know, have you been made about some of the potential future plans of these characters and where it could go from here? Have you been a part of crafting that? Or is it is it all too early stages? I always heard about how mysterious Marvel is. Let me tell you a secret. I know nothing. <laughs> okay. I swear I know nothing. Like I was just like even Oscar today talking to him. He knows nothing. Yeah. So it's we're part of the game. We know nothing. I think you guys are going to decide. It <laughs> okay. depends on how people are going to perceive the character. Yeah. I think that's going to dictate um, what's the future. The best thing and the most interesting about Marvel is. Not because you get a you did a a good job uh, as a TV series, you're gonna get the season two. That's right, not right, the way right. it goes. You might be a film, a film might be a TV show. You don't know. You, he might join another uh, superhero. I think there's one human being on Earth who knows. Okay. Kevin Feige, <laughs> the genius. Okay, so then that means no pressure for you, no pressure for me. Just as two fans of Moon Knight talking to one another, in your opinion, having spent time with this character, where would you like to as a fan? see Mark Spector go? Where do you think he would fit nicely? Are there any other Marvel characters that you think, oh, I would like for him to to meet this character at some point? First of all, I, I have the feeling, and it's just like from the reactions and from my love for the character, that Moon Knight is here to stay. He's going to be, that's my interpretation. If you like him that much, then again, you are the vote, not me. Right, right. So if you like him, he's going to stay. I have the feeling he's a great character. I didn't see any, I don't know anyone who's that complex and that interesting. So I think he's going to stay. I just want to see him with uh, all the other characters. It, if yeah. you ask me, I know Kevin said at some point there's not going to be any more Avengers or something. Mm. But I just want to find a place that I can blend him with everyone. I want to see him interact with everyone and drive them crazy. <laughs> talking to them in British accent and all of a sudden switching to uh, his other uh, Mark. And he's going to drive everyone crazy, which is going to be so unique and, and special. I heard uh, Oscar say, "I want to be. Um, he um, he wants to be uh, with the Hulk. Oh, I love yes. Mark Ruffalo. I love his take. Um, definitely would love to be with him. But again, I want to see him with the most serious guy. 
so he drives them crazy. <laughs> I think that the Hulk also has some aspect of that duality, and I would Absolutely. also love love to see Mark talk to Bruce Banner, and then love to see Moon Knight talk to Hulk, and then all of that. Yeah, that would be. That great. is smart. It would be like just imagine a cop movie. I mean, partnering up, and all of a sudden they're like switching back and forth. Very, very brilliant. <laughs> that would be really great. Speaking of switching back and forth, Mohammed, I love the look of this show. It is beautiful. It is really, really beautiful. I mean, I've I've been a Marvel fan since I was a kid and a fan of the MCU since it had started. But there's been so many great costumes come to life. But Moon Knight looks so cool in this show. I cannot choose between the Moon Knight superhero costume or the Mister Knight suit. In terms of which one I prefer, which one I like more, do you have one that you like more? I I like the two of them, but definitely Moon Knight. <laughs> definitely Moon Knight. I love Moon Knight. I just love it. Maybe because it it um uh, it's a new thing. We haven't seen it before. We did, we haven't seen the two of them before. Yes. But something different than the latex tight things and just like having every part of the costume is saying something about him about our story. Uh, you can dissect the the. the and everything works and everything is magical and the way yeah. he looks it's i think we haven't seen a superhero that looks like that before the same goes for uh, mr knight but it's just like maybe because there's that egyptian part of it um i love it it's so great it's so great uh tell me about maybe my favorite character in the show kanshu what kind of a character is kanshu he's gray just like all the other characters and every character i ever had in any movie that i directed i hate just having one color. I love to be in this murky space. And I just have the feeling that most of the good villains in the world written and most of the real villains in the world have a good, the motive that is driving them is not just greed and it's actually coming from a good place. Mm -hmm. By the way, even if it's greed, he thinks he's greedy because he has to have money. So the pain that he endured, his kids are not gonna endure, for example. Right, so right. I love that Khonshu is, in a very murky area, who's the villain of the show? Is it him? Is it Amit? Is it Arthur? Is it, you don't know. It's, by the way, Arthur Harrow, is he a bad guy? What's the difference between him and Khonshu? And what's the difference yeah. is just like very slight. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and I love that. Uh, Mark himself, just like being a vengeful guy. By the way, any superhero, let's, let's say I'm gonna put the cape right now and go, in the streets and arrest uh, uh, guys. Am yeah. I gonna be good? Am I gonna be considered in real life good? Right. And I love right. that. I love that. And I think the best best villains are the people that start the conversation. What if you have the ability to judge people and know if they can do something wrong or not? A lot of people are gonna say yes. Um, and again, what if the other pitch? What if you're Khonshu? Anyone who did something wrong, I'm gonna wipe them. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're not going to give them a chance to repent. But some people are going to say yes, some people are going to say no. Yeah, I love that complexity. I, I think F. Murray Abraham as the voice was beautiful. And I just wanted to say one more time, congratulations to you, sir, your wife, the entire production team, everybody working on the show. I think everybody brought their AAA game. So thank you so much. It was a pleasure talking to you. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Thank you, Hector. I wish there was like Rose. We had... <laughs> 1,200 people working on the show, so I want to give them all my, yes. my salute. And uh, I want to tell you that five and six are even crazier. Okay, I can't <laughs> wait. All right, thank you. Thank you, thank sir. You, thank Hector. you so much. Have Take a great care. day. Take care, brother.